What up? I'm back. With another one, you know what the f Oh man, not again. You know the moments I be doing, hey, it's legendary. Look, you ask for it and I get to you, you know? Comedians own Australia's. It's all it's Australians. It doesn't I, I don't ever think it mattered. I was close, right? Let's get into it. Something wrong. Alright. Were you whereabouts in Australia are you from? Melbourne. Melbourne. So you weren't affected by the flooding, were you? <laughs> Why he ain't say that thing? So high up. <laughs> Why he? <laughs> I, I'm here with uh, my family. Uh, we're traveling in Australia. Uh, this is too high, uh, and it's it's a jail. <laughs> it's a jail. You all are prisoners, and you don't like to talk really? about it. You're sensitive about it. You want to forget the past and move on into the future, like every country that has a suspect past. <laughs> you know. It's a totally inhospitable place. You shouldn't be here. The sun, you live about three quarters of a mile from it. And um, <laughs> why are you over here telling them a, a great escape plan? Like, yeah, hey, just so you know, like, yo, you can go over here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all live in jail if you didn't know. But, like, if you didn't know, now I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get out, blink once. <laughs> Hey, yo! You've seen insects walking around with knee pads. And you fling yourselves into the sea when you're not actually walking around audibly crackling in the heat. And uh, Is that hot? The sea is full of jellyfish and sharks and other things who hate you. But you persist in living here. So, <clears throat> we flew here, you know, and with the children and everything who are pressing the buttons. That man seemed like he very disappointed once he got out there. He's like, yeah, so this this all what really happened to me when I came here. Like, nobody likes nobody here. We are really a prisoner. Why did I come? <laughs> Sleeping and actually getting energy from the hatred that they inspire in you on the plane. <laughs> But so you all really come from, from Irish prisoners, and, and that was because the English sent you here a long, long time ago. And um, the English were very good at that, you know, at, at founding colonies and so on. A lot of it was because of the voice, the English voice. Irish people you never see starting a colony, you know, willingly, because Irish people wouldn't turn up. They would say, well, go over there, it's got loads of stuff, are you coming? I will, yeah, I've just got to meet my brother for a quick... <laughs> <laughs> Pick up some knitting and things. I'll be the, no. But the English are very good at it because they have that voice, you know, where they can go anywhere in the world. They go to Africa, say, and they say, What's your name? Hello, hello, what's your, um, Fubu, hello, how are you? Fubu, uh, wow. Uh, listen, um, Fubu, Fubi, I've got some beads here in my pocket. Would you like to see them? Would you? Would you like to? Would you just listen? Clicky clacky sound, then, and not that pretty. You keep those, you have those, you enjoy those, walk away, they're yours. I'll just have from where you're standing to the horizon. Thank you very much. <laughs> they were all very good at that. Hey, yo. Anyway, so it's a, you know, it's a jail you live in. It's lovely, you've done wonderful things with it. <laughs> you are all still in denial. The only real reason I came, I don't want to see Uruulu or Wurulu or... <laughs> Any of your other garden face exhibits? Uh, the only reason <laughs> I came here for that check. Wild fucking country! I just learned what an Aboriginal was. That's cool. For the last week, I've been walking around like, man, black people out here love picnics, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! Black people love picnicking, bro. Every time I see black people, they're fucking picnicking. Literally every time on the grass, picnic, picnic, picnic. <laughs> picnic. Black people in America do not fuck with fields. They got PTSD from that shit. That's there's a sordid history with fields. You see a black dude on grass back home, he's being tackled by a football player or the police. But either way, either way, we not get into the field. 
dude, I couldn't believe it. And finally, some Australians started explaining to me, like, no, nah, they're not black, they're aboriginals. And, like, we got, like, a real, you know, shitty past with them. It's been very hard to get them to assimilate to, like, white Western culture. And I'm like, what? <laughs> they're relaxing in a park drinking wine. That's pretty white right there. Mission accomplished, Australia. How white do you want them to be? Give them some fucking <laughs> cheese and crackers. They're French. It's just crazy, man. I know you're not supposed to talk about them, so whatever. I won't talk about them. That's it. No more. No more Aboriginal jokes. <laughs> we just cut him off right there. Stripper with pussy hair. That shit was crazy. I was like seeing a beeper again. I was like, what? <laughs> Throwback Thursday, huh? <laughs> Shit. Pussy hair? Fuck. Dude, she had this thick patch of pussy hair. It was like a thick mat of pussy. There were two Aboriginals sitting on it, bro. It was crazy. Like, <laughs> bro. Hey, yo, Andrew, wow. Bullshit. I traded her a dance for some goon wine. <laughs> the goon wine. Australian girl. She said mid coitus. Whilst fucking. <laughs> she said, Have you slimed yet? Have you slimed yet? Are those not fucking Ghostbusters? Box jellyfish, crocodiles, snakes, blue ring octopus, red black spiders, funnel web spiders, great white sharks. Just some of the reasons that put me off going to Australia. <laughs> I don't get it. It's bigger and angrier than anywhere else on the world. <laughs> I put it down to two things. One, it could either be because spiders and snakes and the like normally hide under rocks. The earth is one big rock. Australia's at the bottom of the big rock. <laughs> You are a maniac! You're just thinking about it, thinking about where spiders go and that, and that works, doesn't it? No! Why doesn't that work? Because like there's rock? no real upside down and bottom of the earth, is it? It's all relative to what? It's relative to what? A map that you well, saw. Well, it's a coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay, read on. Well, I spent three years of my life in Australia. Okay. In actual fact, I didn't spend three years, I spent 18 months. But 18 months in Australia is like three years anywhere else. <laughs> And they're very, the Australians are very proud of the country. I left London on Friday. Okay. At 4.30 in the afternoon. I flew all through Friday, all through Saturday, all through Sunday. And I arrived after 36 hours on an aeroplane. Damn. And I arrived and see my eyes are hanging up. And the fellow says, how did you find Australia? <laughs> I said, I got off the bloody plane and it was there. <laughs> the Australians actually, I, I know the Irish have a funny way of talking, but the Australians have also a funny, they add I-E onto a lot of words. Mm. I was there around Christmas and I said to a fellow, I said, what are you going to do on Christmas? He said, well, I think I'll get up. Chrissy die. <laughs> <laughs> Have my brekkie. <laughs> hey, yo. Pick up the cozy. Have my brekkie is wild. Crispy, crispy day. <laughs> Watch a game of footy, have a game of drinkies, and then I'll come home and have a yummy, yummy, crispy dindin. <laughs> a yummy, yummy, crispy dindin. They love the, they love the, in Australia, they love the booze. But the beer is so cold. It's like you have to have gloves to pick up the <laughs> Three beers and you look as like me. Everything's got to be cold. And you get a trap. A wino goes into a chemist shop and said, uh, do, you have a, do you have a bottle of metalite spirits? A metalite of spirits? What's the matter? Don't you have a cold one? <laughs> <laughs> they drink. They drink. I, I arrived there and somebody said, Would you like a schooner? I thought it was going to give me a poke. <laughs> hey, I could agree because it's like, yo, why would you want 
a, a lukewarm beer, that shit, that, that just seemed nasty. Like, if it's not cold, like, why would you get it? Why would you want to drink it? And they're always telling me, they're always, as soon as you arrive in Australia, they say, watch out for the sharks. And they don't say a shark will eat you or chew you up. This is it, watch out for He'll take you. <laughs> he'll take you. He'll be taken by a shark. <laughs> and I think to myself, well, if he takes me, he'll die of alcoholic poisoning. <laughs> I'm swimming, but in the back of my mind, sharks. You thinking about that shark? I'm it's gonna take you. The fellow goes underneath me, swims on. I don't even see him, and he comes right under, and he goes with his finger shoo, down my stomach. <laughs> Nobody swam in that sea for about three days. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You just gotta make sure you ain't trying to be taken. You just gotta make sure. I, I agree. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't. And you ain't trying to risk it all. You feel me? They take it. They take it precautions. It's the nearest thing I have ever done to in my life. I was across the water on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas was moving. I was when I was out there. I I hired in the, down on the coast a bungalow kind of shack hut. Okay. Which we used to go for weekends. And we always get down there and have a few beers and swim and eat, laugh, joke. And then one of these Australian friends of mine said, uh, hey, Dave, uh, you want to be uh, careful about the grass around here. Uh, it's getting very tall and a lot of snakes, they live in the grass. You want to mm -hmm. cut it? And I said, well, I'm never here. I only come here every six weeks or something. How the hell am I going? He said, well, buy yourself a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> like, niggas just got sheep just laying around. Like, yeah, I want to buy that sheep. It's random. And he laid up on the grass. <laughs> so I thought it was a very good idea. I bought a sheep for five quid. Tied him up. Six months later, he's as big as a house. <laughs> Ooh, everywhere. <laughs> Somebody said, you want to get him sheared? He'll dehydrate. <laughs> so I go back to Sydney and I go through the yellow pages. Sheep shearing. And unknown to me, I am ringing up the biggest sheep shearing company in the world. Damn. And I said, I'm making inquiries about sheep shearing. The woman said, uh, one second, please. And I was, I believe you're making inquiries about sheep shearing. I said, yes. He said, well, let me tell you our rates first. We sheep... Uh, we share sheep uh, per 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. We've got different rates. We've got peace rates. He we, only uh, got one. We do hourly rate, weekly rate, monthly rate. It all depends on the number of sheep that you have, percentage loss, percentage gain. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got one. I said, one. What? <laughs> said, really? What's his bloody name? <laughs> He ain't make a name for it. Mind you, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you, and I mean this very sincerely. The Australians are perhaps one of the most hospitable and generous people in the world. I mean, they, if you stuck for an... Hey. Hey, there you have it. I, I'm learning more and more. I'm learning more and more. About how, how Australians work. How they get down. Hey, if you mess with the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that. Have your post notifications on. Comment down below right now what you want to see me react to next. Until next time. Hey!